from the Washington Golf and Country Club. It is PGA Mid-Atlantic Hall of Fame night, plus some other awards being given out. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, and our special guest, Bruce. Pat Corner, you hear him all the time. Now you get to see him, all right? This is my guru, my guy, uh, always on the show with me. And uh, real quick, Ricky's making a move today. He is. Yeah, he's, uh, oddly enough, uh, he's one of the hosts for the week. They're, uh, ever since Mr. Palmer passed away, they, they do a ceremonial. Uh, they pick three or four guys to be the, the official hosts of the tournament. Ricky's one of them for the week, so the fact that he's playing so well while juggling all the uh, administrative and, uh, and special events is, is uh, feather in his cap. Bruce, I have to think that one of the reasons that you're winning an award tonight is having Pat on the show and the, how much you'd spend uh, talking about golf on the air. You guys discuss how this came about. Well, he was a golf teaching pro at Woodhome and we got to be friends. And then uh, he's also a guy who loves West Virginia. All right. right. Well, I'm from West Virginia. Right. I just don't hear that much. That okay. Right. And uh, we just became buddies. And then we, I found in him a love of golf, not just as a teaching pro, but he loves to follow the game, and the rest was history. It's been how many years now? Seven? It's, uh, eight? it's been it's, a long time. Uh, I was thinking back. I, it, the 07 PGA, I think, is the first year that we did it. Right. And and, uh, uh, and that was when I predicted Scott Verplank would play well, and he had the first round lead. And ever since then, I think you I think you trusted me, and it's been so it's been over ten the years. The first now. Call, first call I got, I'll never forget when Pat was on the show. I have a woman call up and she says, I just think that Pat Corner is fantastic. It was his mom. It was probably my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so that how, makes sense. how long have you been at BCC? I've been at BCC. I just started my fifth season at BCC. Mm -hmm. I was at Woodholm uh, with Bruce for 10 years uh, and was in Orlando, Florida in between. Uh, well, uh, but, so, but just started my fifth year at BCC. So working with uh, Foley, mm -hmm. what's his first name? I forget. Sean, Sean Foley. You had some involvement with Tiger Woods. And now he's on the way back. Mm -hmm. I was talking with Freddie Funk about it. Yeah. And he said, if this guy can play without pain, he will be back. Yeah, I think that's a consensus. If he's healthy, he's, he's so talented. He's just, you know, we've seen it from a physical and a mental level. He's just in a, you know, a league of his own. If he can be healthy uh, and gain back some of the confidence that he, that he probably lost, uh, you know, over the last four or five years. But he looks great. He had a, a club head speed of 128 miles an hour last week. It was the fastest one, I think, recorded all year. Right. So obviously, physically, he's in good shape. I, I think a couple more rounds, and, and he's going to be right there. Fred Funk said that he first thing he looked for was whether or not he still had the chip yips. Yeah. And they're gone. Yeah, his short game's unbelievable. Right. And so, that was incredible when that happened to him. Yeah, yeah. So you teach a lot of people. If he's hitting the ball with a club head speed of 128, mm -hmm. what's a regular golfer, a, a Bruce or I, what, what right. is your general club head speed? That's a driver club head speed. So mm -hmm. um, a, a general, and it's it depends on the person, but if a person swings in the low to mid 80s, that's, that's a reasonable speed. Um, mm -hmm. You know, once you get into the, the mid-90s range, mm -hmm. that's pretty fast. Anything above 100, I mean, I'm a professional and mine's about 105. Wow. So, Where am I, about 50? <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> on a good no. day. And you know what? We're not going to get better than that. That's Bruce, Pat, I'm Wayne. We will be back during and after the event tonight with more coverage from the Washington Let Gulf. me just say one thing. I want to thank Pat for everything he did for me. Obviously, he was instrumental in me getting this award. I thank you for that. But more important than that, I thank you for all the times you come on the show. That it's now become where people will tune in because you're going to be on the show making your insane predictions right. that I make you make. All right? And it's become part of the show. So for being a good sport and everything, I thank you so much. Well, and, and I have to thank you also because you've given me more exposure. You've given me a, a platform outside of the country club in, uh, in which I work, and and you know, and we've been able to continue a friendship uh, even even after I would move away, and and, uh, and it's just it's become a much bigger thing than I ever thought it would. So. Well, wait till these videos hit YouTube and That's everything. True. All right. Uh, Wayne, right? That is right. The YouTube seemed to be hot. Uh, we'll be back later in the evening from the Washington Golf and Country Club. Bruce, sign off. We're going to have a great time tonight. Thanks, Thanks Pat. All right, Thanks. bye.